We're up to part four of our interview with Mark Andes. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. When you were in that band, for instance, I know you were there before they got signed, but but how far ahead did you ever look? Because when I was at that age, I never looked far ahead. Someone was just telling me today when I turned 60 again in February, oh my God, I'm going to turn 60. He was turning 60 this year. And I said, well, why are you asking me that question? Because when I was 18, I wasn't thinking, how old am I going to live? I'm just too busy living, you know? Right. The thing about the Can Heat guys is that I was like 17. And I was in the band when the, we signed with Mercury. But I, my dad was giving me a problem about living with him and, and wanted me to make more money. And so I dropped out. And actually, Randy and Cass had moved back from New York. I actually kind of regretfully left Canteen. I didn't realize it at first. I knew Henry kind of had a, had a, his own area code, but I didn't realize the other guys really had this dangerous sort of attraction to downers. And and we lived at, right down the street from each other. I was 1256 uh, Topanga Canyon Boulevard, and Bob Hyde was maybe an eighth of a mile down the canyon. Mm-hmm. And both he and Al Wilson died there overdosing on reds man my big can't heat uh chemical thing drug thing was when we went played in, in uh san francisco we were playing i don't know i think the avalon actually and i i come in and there those guys are on hallucinogens <laughs> pretty sure it was lsd it could have been mushrooms but i had just bought some uh helium balloons <laughs> and i walked in and I heliumed up <laughs> and started talking to them, and they freaked out. They, I think that that memory probably lasted with each one of those guys uh, for, from, the, from that time on forward. <laughs> so you left for financial reasons because your dad just wanted you to make more cash? Correct. Yeah, exactly. So I did this yellow balloon thing, and it was kind of a cheesy thing, but John Beck was in it. Some of the guys that were in the leaves, John was in the leaves. And then uh, Cass and Randy came back, and then from New York, and, and Jay and I decided that we'd like to approach Randy to put together a rock band. And he, of course, would love to work with us, but he would want to really work with John Locke and Ed Cassidy. He would be glad to work with us if we would work with those guys as well. Mm-hmm. Hence the stylistic factions that create, were created just by that decision. But because, Rand, because everybody wanted to play with Randy, there, there it was. We, there we had the two jazz guys, uh, an over 40-year-old drummer, <laughs> a hipster from Venice, <laughs> a rocker from the San Fernando Valley, and uh, Jay Ferguson, a... Uh, uh, a folk rock guy from the San Fernando Valley. So, yeah. That's a question I ask everyone because the fans just drool over this because they go, oh, wait a minute. He's starstruck too, but you, there must have been moments where you were in the backstage or in a room and go, I can't believe I'm, or else I just talked to that person. Because, I mean, the little younger version of yourself is still in there who bought those records inside of you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I did get to meet uh, Chuck Berry, which was wonderful. I missed Richie Valens. I wish I'd have gotten to see meet him or Little Richard. But I'll tell you what, man, the band, meeting the band and Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin and the Rolling Stones. I never met a Beatle, but the journey that I've have been blessed to have in this business is pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. The Beatles had a not bad bass player. You should meet that bass player. I hear he's still around. Yeah, not not a bad singer either. Yeah. Uh, so were you more? Were you a John or Paul fan? Which one were? If you had to pick, I actually appreciate them both because I think I realized in in, in some sort of a weird way that the way they they work together was unusually tight and i was astounded by that their ability but but they both were undeniable huge talents for sure comment on our videos share our videos on social media it means so much to us helps us grow and remember subscribe to our channel i'm john bowden from rock history music Mm -hmm.